Hello students, this is Dr. Praveen Japati, Faculty Cerebellum Academy and I am trying to cover all the questions that students are asking after the NEET PG results were announced. One of the questions is, sir, I want to drop in here, I want to prepare again, but the parents are against it. They are pressurizing me to take whatever I am getting, what should I do? Let us try to address this question. My first question is, why are your parents against it? There has to be some reason that they must be given or you definitely know why are they against it. I will tell you what are the reasons. The first reason is when we are anxious, our mind tells us that the worst possible thing is about to happen. Probably your parents are anxious about your performance and they are thinking that next year even this rank would not come or next year somehow the competition will become very tough, he would not be able to do anything or he would not be able to handle anything. But this is the worst possible scenario. It usually does not happen. If 100 students prepare again, 99 of them are going to improve on their rank. But this is what anxiety does. Anxiety shows us things which are not existing, which are not existent. So probably this is one of the reasons. Second reason, again more so applicable to the female students. Parents say that take anything and then get married. But you are a doctor. You studied hard for five and a half years. Your story cannot end at marriage, right? So throw this reason out of the window. I, I personally get very angry when a girl comes and tells me my parents are saying that get married. You are a doctor. Let them say anything. Not always in life you have to listen to everybody. Others may not be able to identify it, but you know your worth. You have studied how to become a doctor and now marriage cannot decide your career. So if it is the practical things like getting married or then other practical, practical thing is why waste another year? Again, students, the life of a doctor, the professional life of a doctor continues for 50 years. Whether you start one year early or late does not matter. Nobody today asks me whether you started uh, your MD in the first attempt or the second attempt. It just does not matter later on. So this is another practical reason which is nonsensical. Do not give any attention to it. And then you have to take a stand for yourself. You are a 25 year old boy or girl. If you do not take a stand for yourself now, when will you do it? So please remember that parents always have your best interest in their minds. But sometimes they are a bit away from the reality. They don't realize what exactly is going to happen. They may have their own anxieties. So they would always think good for you, but their suggestions may not always be the best for you. I'll tell you one example. When I got selected, my parents did not want me to, me to take up psychiatry. They said, don't take psychiatry, take anything, but don't take up psychiatry. But I insisted that I want to become a psychiatrist only. Today I'm doing okay, right? Similarly, you have to take a stand for yourself. If it is in your heart that you want to study again, prepare again, forget what anybody is saying, do it. And students, again, this is something that I keep on saying, we should not have any regrets in life. We can fail, our decisions may go wrong, all of these things may happen. But the thing that you regret most in your life is, not taking a call, not taking a decision for yourself or not standing up for yourself. Don't make that mistake. If you want to study, do study. No matter what anybody says. And students, if I may point out, if you are watching this video, probably you are looking for a validation from me. You actually want to study again and you want someone to tell you that it's okay. And here I am telling you it's going to be okay. Do what your heart tells. All the best.